Hello, welcome to Spanish Lessons with Dr. Alan Davison. The videos in this series are designed to be used with the Blurzo el Burro graded Spanish reader. The reader is available at Amazon.com or through my website at Blurzo.com. Have fun! Okay, let's look at a few other verbs that are used uh, like gustar, uh, that is uh, structurally in the same way. Remember with gustar we use the indirect object pronouns. Me, te, le, nos, os, les. And we said that uh, what is in the direct object in English becomes the subject in Spanish. That is, in, in English we say, I like the book, but because gustar means to please, we have to say in Spanish that the book is pleasing to me. So we would say, el libro me gusta. And it's gusta because it's el libro, third person singular. The book pleases me, right? The book is pleasing to me, okay? Other verbs that we can use like gustar are such verbs as faltar, which means to lack. So if you wanted to say something was lacking to you, in other words, you need something, you would say, for example, uh, let's say, you, you are lacking money, that is, you need money, would be el dinero te falta, okay? Money is lacking to you, okay? Another verb uh, used this way is parecer, which is to seem, okay? So if you want to say that something uh, seems good, seems bad uh, to somebody, uh, we would do it in this way, for example. The class seems interesting, okay? The class seems interesting to her. In other words, she thinks it's interesting. La clase, le, to her, parece, interesting, interesante. And because le could be to her, to him, to usted, to Juan, you'd have to say a uh, ella, clarify who that was referring to. So the class seems interesting, to her. Okay? Interesar is another verb that can be used that way. You could say, uh, what is it? The, the book uh, is interesting to us. In other words, we're interested in it. You could say, uh, well, let's do it. Let's do plural since we haven't done a plural. Let's say the books are interesting to us. We're interested in the books. You could say, los libros. And then interesar, you'd use the third person singular, which would be interesan. Los libros nos interesan. The books are of interest to us, or interest us. In other words, we're interested in them. Another very interesting and important uh, verb that falls into this category in terms of structurally how it's used is the expression uh, caer bien, which literally means to fall well. Okay, let's uh, clean this up and do an entire thing here with, uh, with uh, this expression because it's an important one. Okay, some people sometimes in uh, familiar situations would use the verb gustar when they're talking about uh, liking a person. But again, because of the way it's used and uh, the structure that we use with gustar, what you would really have to say is, for example, if you want to say, I like Juan, you would have to say Juan, it would become the subject in Spanish, Juan me gusta, okay? But really, literally what you're saying is Juan pleases me. Now, in an informal setting, that's fine. You'll hear that Juan me gusta, or ella me gusta, or ellos me gustan, whatever it might be. But in a more formal setting, you might get some laughs with that because of the nature of gustar, that is pleasure. Okay? So in Spanish, very often when we're talking about liking a person, we use the expression caer bien, to fall well. We say Juan me, and we conjugate this in the third person, calle, to fall, and then bien, well. So you're saying, Juan falls well to me. In other words, I like him. He falls well to me, I like him. If, you, if you're asking uh, a friend, uh, do you like Juan? Then you would ask, Juan, te calle bien? Does Juan fall well to you, to form? Okay. Uh, or any of the other... Uh, uh, persons represented by the indirect object pronoun. So, 
If we want to say I like Juan, we say Juan me calle bien. Juan falls well to me. In other words, I like him. What if you wanted to say that Juan likes me? Then you'd have to invert it again. You'd have to say literally, I fall well to Juan. In other words, he likes me. I fall well to him. Then you'd have to say yo, become the subject, I fall well. The yo form of caer is caigo. It's one of those irregular yo forms with a G. And you got the bien, so I fall well. And who am I falling well to? To Juan. So I fall well to him. You need the third person singular indirect object pronoun, le. Yo le caigo bien, and since le could be a variety of people, you would reiterate a Juan. Then once you knew you were talking about falling well to Juan, then you could eliminate the one. Yo le caigo bien. What about uh, they like me? That is, I fall well to them. Again, it would be yo caigo bien to them. Yo les caigo bien. And again, to clarify who the les is referring to, a ellos. Or you like me. Two form, yo te caigo bien. Okay, how about um, they like us? That is, we fall well to them. Then you would say nosotros would become the subject. Fall well, caemos bien. Uh, what do we say that, uh, that uh, they like us? That is, we fall well to them. That would be less to them. Nosotros les ca caemos bien. A uh, ellos, we fall well to them, they like us. Okay, it's a little bit odd, but this is a, a way of rendering liking people, and caer bien is used much more often uh, than gustar. You're much better off uh, learning to use the caer bien expression. You can also change the bien to caer mal, if you don't like somebody. Like Juan me cae mal, or yo le caigo mal. He doesn't like me, I don't like him. Okay.